Hi everybody, welcome to Sex Therapy with your fashionable host Danny from Arben. What does it mean to practice music? It means that by the end of a practice, you're able to do something you weren't able to do when you started the practice. It can be playing scales up and down in 120 BPM when before that you can only play it in 110 BPM. It can be learning a new tool, new harmonic tool. It can be learning a new rhythm, it can be anything. But the point is, you start not knowing something and you end up knowing more. That's a good practice. The first thing, if you want to get the most out of your practice, is you want to have a clear goal in mind what you're going to be able to do by the end of the practice. Now, you're not necessarily going to reach it every time, but you're at least going to be closer to it. So it's a good thing to know what you're going to practice before you're practicing and not waste a lot of time just thinking while you're in the practice room. Because we know we don't have a lot of time. Another thing, when you practice, practice. Don't check your phone, don't check your Instagram, don't go to the bathroom, just practice. Third thing that you want to make sure you do. Take breaks. What do I mean? If you actually are practicing something that you don't know how to do, which you, that's what you should be practicing, your brain is going to be really tired after a little bit. And if you're going to take breaks, you make yourself take breaks, you're going to find out that it's much easier for you to retain information and stay on course. So if you practice, for example, 10 hours a day, right? If, you have, if you're in high school or if you have a, a short, a short time in your life that you really have time to, to dedicate to practicing. Like for me, it was when I just got out of the army and I was starting to play saxophone again after I took a break for the infantry for three years. Uh, I practiced technique all day. I started at 7 a.m. and went all the way to 10 p.m. every day with half an hour for breakfast, half an hour for dinner, and an hour for lunch. But what I did is every 45 minutes, I made myself take 15 minutes off. And the reason is that the 45 minutes that I actually practiced, I had my entire mental uh, capacity dedicated to practicing. So it's, if you have three hours, it's much better for you to practice 45 minutes and take 15 minute break than practice three hours straight, even though it's more time. Right? It's about more utilizing the time you have, uh, the best that you can utilize it. Next, something you really want to do when you practice, especially when you practice technique, is always play correctly. What do I mean? I mean, you want to be playing stuff in such a slow tempo that you make zero mistakes. Now, perfectly in zero mistakes has to do with your perception, right? So it's like somebody that just starts playing saxophone, for them to play something perfectly, does it. it's not the same as what I mean, play perfectly. But you should play as perfectly as you can conceive. I'll give a very quick example of playing music, okay? Let's say I'm playing C major scale up. <laughs> Okay, well, let's say I can't do it. <laughs> that would be a better thing. Let's say I couldn't do it. How would I practice it? If I try and play it in this tempo, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, let's say that's my goal. And I practice and that's what comes out. It's not good, because I'm practicing, I'm playing not in time. If I'm playing, also not good. And that's what people usually do. People usually play at the place where they can't do things. And then they do it again and again and again. And we think about it like a computer game. Computer game mentality means this. It means that I did it something three times wrong, one time right, so I passed to the next stage. But practicing doesn't work like that. Practicing is more, I did it three times wrong, one time right, it's like I have 75% in my brain that's wrong and 25% of my, in my brain that's right. So I actually practiced playing it wrong. We don't really discern what's right and wrong. So you want to play it so slow you don't make a mistake. And it can be this fast. And when you just inch the metronome up. The problem is when you play something that slow, like in, to the tempo that you can actually do it perfectly, your brain tells you you can already do it. So why do it? You feel like you're wasting your time, you feel like your soul is being sucked out of you. But the truth is that if you do that and then just inch the metronome, like I said, 5 BPM, another 5 BPM, another 5 BPM, by the end of the day you're going to be able to do it perfectly in a higher tempo. And if you just go to the tempos that you mess up a little bit and you don't really have control of the articulation, don't really have control of the sound, don't really have control of the time, you will never be able to do it. And that's why you see even professional musicians that never cleaned up their playing. 
because they never practice in a tempo that's slow enough for them to play perfectly. So everything they do is just approximation. So play, practice slowly and perfectly. Follow us on YouTube, watch our other videos, subscribe, like, we have Patreon, we have a lot of other stuff going on, uh, Danny has a lot of stuff, I have a lot of stuff coming up too, so stay tuned.